Coming up this week on Big Sky Outdoors. We started out as a primarily a whitewater kayak shop, kind of trying to bring that surf shop vibe to whitewater kayaking, and we evolved into a full-on surf shop in the mountains. Pretty awesome. Hand shaping custom surfboards with the guys from Strongwater in downtown Missoula this week on Big Sky Outdoors. Sky Outdoors, powered by Town Pump, fueling your next outdoor adventure, is also brought to you by Counter Assault, your ultimate protection in the wild, by Montana Army Navy, get it, get out, and live it, by Pierce RV Supercenter, Montana's premier RV dealer, and by Don K Subaru, locally owned, community involved. My name is Luke Reeker, and uh, I was born here in Missoula, Montana. Pretty much lived here uh, most of my life, every summer of my life. I've been playing in these rivers, the Bitter, the Clark Fork, the Blackfoot, my whole life. Snorkeling, spearfishing, catching crawdads, everything. Got into whitewater kayaking right after high school, uh, right when I was about 20, and um, became uh, absolutely addicted to that, and uh, just, uh, Pretty much from there on, it's just kind of history. <laughs> I grew up in North Idaho, and the sport of whitewater kayaking is what brought me to Montana to start with. It's been about 15 years ago now. Just the rivers, uh, the location in Missoula is just like a great place if you're into um, whitewater, kayaking, rafting, whatever it is. Missoula is just an awesome town for that. I was going to the university and pretty much kayaking every day. I used to teach uh, whitewater kayaking at the university for four years. At that particular time, uh, kayaking was surfing in the mountains to me. I kind of viewed as surfboards were for the ocean, kayaks uh, were surfing in the river, and snowboards were surfing on the mountain. One time, both KB and I were both on the U.S. freestyle competitive circuit. So uh, we trained a lot in play boating, uh, but we loved kayaking, all sorts of kayaking. We didn't call ourselves play boaters. Uh, that's what we did most of the time. And uh, for us, that was surfing. That was what we thought surfing for the mountains was. You know, we thought that was our angle to, you know, we all had a surfer inside of us and we thought kayaking was the way to be a surfer in Montana. At that particular time, you know, we were really, it was when kayaking was really progressing, you know, freestyle kayaking was coming of age and we were doing all these flips and tricks and just really progressing in our kayak. We were the very first people to bring stand-up paddle boards to Montana and uh, KB and I took them out to Frenchtown Pond our very first day, the, the second we got them. At the time, it was early spring and there was a wave in at the Blackfoot that's really easy for beginners. And we're like, well, let's take these things to the Blackfoot, let's go. And um, from that day on, it was kind of crazy. We started uh, supping rivers and uh, doing, just surfing tons of waves uh, with the stand-up paddle boards. That was like our main focus was finding waves to surf with the stand-up paddle boards. The stand-up paddleboard, um, it was cool because it was a little bit simpler than kayaking. Uh, one of the things that was cool about it is you were, you were free, you weren't strapped inside a boat, you were up standing on a board, which was something I, I really just love board sports. And then it was less gear, it was a little bit simpler than kayaking. You know, kayaking is so gear intensive. The stand-up paddleboarding is still gear intensive, but a little bit less than kayaking. 
he was standing up. We started running, running uh, <clears throat> rivers on him, and we found that like the waves that we used to surf in like longer kayaks, more of the old school type kayaks, we were able to surf on the paddle boards. And uh, we were on one of these waves one year and uh, a couple years ago, and uh, we were with our paddle boards, and uh, we thought we were pretty awesome. Uh, and then this day, uh, we see we see this guy Chris Peterson on a on a shortboard on pipeline, just absolutely going destroying it, get up, get up, man. just carving back and forth, and our our jaws dropped, and that was definitely the day we were like, oh my God, we we got to get shortboards, and um, that's kind of when the madness started, just the shortboard madness. Uh, we thought we were only going to be surfing that wave. When that wave went out, it was going to be done. And then um, we just kind of started surfing everything. Just we're like, oh, let's go try this wave. Let's go try this wave. Pretty much from that day forward, we've only ridden surfboards. The warm weather in Montana has arrived and your local town pump has everything your family needs along with great savings. This month's specials include Doritos or Dips are just $3.29 each, General Mill cereal two for $5, and David Seeds just 99 cents. With over 90 convenient locations across Montana, we are sure to have everything you need and more. Counter Assault, the original bear deterrent has been made, developed, and scientifically tested in Montana for nearly 30 years. Counter Assault is what I chose for my staff based on my personal experience, scientific testing, and it's the only one that met all the expert recommendations. Spray time and spray distance are important in a bear attack, and Counter Assault has both. As an avid hiker, hunter, and outdoorsman, Counter Assault is my first line of defense in bear country. Carry what the professionals carry. Counter Assault, grizzly tough bear spray. Look for the red can. We started in the spring of 2012. That's when like the light bulb went off. Like, oh my God, we're we're surfers, we're shortboarders, and we had a company actually make us a board. You know, we were riding tons of different boards, um, and all surfboards obviously were made by companies that were ocean based. And the waves, um, the way they created, the way they break, are different. So you need different. You know, could be size, could be all kinds of factors that vary into what type of board you're going to ride in the ocean. And what we found is we were riding all these different ocean boards in the river and you know some of them work better than others but nothing was like made for the waves that we were surfing. We were going to work with a couple different companies and uh, we we're going to have this strong water board. We sent the board back to them and they were going to do a, a cat of it and it was a 6'4 and we were like that's a great shape you already have it done it would be great for beginners, um, it's a good shape, let's get it started. Well, like three months went by, no word, and I called like our rep and I was like, hey, you know, what's, you know, what's the deal with that? Are they gonna get the board into production? You're gonna do it? And he's like, oh, it's sitting in my office right now and uh, they're actually gonna scrap that project. And we're just like, all right. You know, after we found out the news, KB was sitting there and I came into the shop and he's just like, I'm gonna make the boards. And I thought to myself, I, luckily I never said anything, but I thought to myself, what the hell do you know about making a surfboard? I was going to go down to California, do a little shaping class. I got online and started just kind of studying it. It was like early fall, and uh, literally from that day that he said he was going to make surfboards, he started researching it and studying it and seeing what tools you need and just really I mean, for three months, studied shaping. And one common thing was you got to just do it. It's, it's an art. You have to know what you want to make, and you have to be able to see it. And then you basically just make that board come to life. I surf and make surfboards, and they definitely like parallel each other. 
And when you're, you know, out surfing, like some days you're like, just you can't go wrong. Like you're just on it. And it's the same thing, you know, I'm down here when we're making boards, you know, like some days you're just like so on it, everything's going perfect. Some days, you know, it's like a little hectic, things aren't quite going how you wanted them to go, you know, and it's all about just kind of getting in there, grinding, having fun, putting in the work and the effort, and it just kind of all comes together. You know, if you see it, you can do it, you know, and uh, that's the thing. He uh, obviously had like a little surfer ancient Hawaiian in him because uh, the first four boards he did we called them scrappers because they were made out of scrap foam and um, he shaped them laid them up put the fins in and uh, just got used to working with the tools and after four of those scrappers he was ready for a real blank he made the first four look so easy some other people got some scrap foam and they were gonna make boards too and they just like whittled them down to little pieces of art like that never got finished like they looked terrible so yeah, he definitely has like a natural shaping ability. We didn't set out to like revolutionize the surfboard. We just wanted to make a board that was made for riding waves in the river. So through our, our background in kayaking and paddleboarding and doing all these river activities, we had a good idea of, you know, what was gonna make a good river board, you know? And, you know, riding different ocean boards, um, you know, played into that too, so we could kind of just figure out little tweaks and little things here and there that we could change on the boards and, and just make them better for the type of waves that we were riding. Army Navy is your hunting headquarters. It's the best place around when you're serious about saving money on the things you need to go hunting. Knife sharpeners, wool gloves, backpacking meals, optics, socks, boots, insoles, stoves. Why, it's a virtual hunter's checklist. All name brands and all at fantastic savings. On Highway 2 in Evergreen and Highway 93 in Whitefish. MontanaArmyNavy.com So this is our uh, typical blank that we start out with. It's made by U.S. Blank. It's blanks. It's uh, pretty pretty much the standard uh, blank company used in the surf industry. They are a polyester foam blank. It's kind of all about uh, you just kind of learn what boards you want to make and you learn how to build it. Out how wide you want your board to be. Just make sure everything's nice and square. Come over, you grab your template. So these are these are different templates here of all kinds of different surfboards that uh, you see out there on the market. Um, all kinds of different shapes in there. This is a particular template. Um, this is just like a shape I designed myself and it's called our flex board which is kind of uh, our most popular shape for the river. It takes about three hours to shape a board. It's all like drying times and stuff. That's where you that's where you waste all the time, you know, just waiting for, waiting for things to dry and, and all that. It's like a shape of board and then just to laminate one side of it takes, you know, it takes like an hour to do it and then it's like four hours, five hours to wait for it to dry. Flip it over, do the other side, takes an hour to do it, four or five hours to dry. So right now you can kind of see like what the lights are doing, you know, it's obviously bright on both sides and it's 
leaving a thick, dark shadow right down this, this rail right here. So at this point of the cutout, I'm just trying to get like a nice 90 degree flat, flat edge all the way across the board. The 2014 Subaru Outback from Don K. Subaru is an IIHS top safety pick and gets 30 MPG. And just listen to what our customers are saying. This was the best, most enjoyable experience I've ever had in buying a car, Sarah F. We have nearly 50 Outbacks in stock starting as low as $23,495. Come experience it for yourself. Don K. Whitefish, locally owned, community involved. Looking for a new RV? Look no further than Pierce RV Supercenter, Montana's premier RV dealer. Come and shop the huge selection of fifth wheels, motorhomes, toy haulers, travel trailers, and even RV rentals. Plus, don't miss the fully stocked parts and accessory department. Pierce RV Supercenter has an RV that's right for any size family at prices that will fit any budget. Pierce RV Supercenter, located in Billings, Great Falls, and Kalispell. Come see us today or visit us online at PierceRV.com. If this weather is any indication, we must be getting close to fall, and along with it comes hunting season. Coming up on September 6th and running through the middle of October is the start of deer, elk, and antelope archery season. Remember, you must have completed a bow hunter education course to participate. Go to fwp.mt.gov for more information and to purchase a license. Coming up on Saturday, September 6th at the Frenchtown Pond State Park is a Garden City Triathlon. The race starts at 9 a.m. and features a 1.5k swim, 40k bike ride, and a 10k run. Register before September 3rd at GardenCityTriathlon.com. It is a great event in an awesome town. Come run through the beautiful Stillwater State Forest. On Sunday, September 7th, is the Two Bear Marathon and Half Marathon in Whitefish. The race starts on the Whitefish Trail and ends in downtown. Go to twobearmarathon.org for all the details and to register. Ready for a really big bike ride? Ride to Wyoming and back from Red Lodge over Beartooth Pass, climbing and descending 14,000 feet over 141 miles. If you are up for the challenge, get ready for the Yellowstone Alpine Climb on September 6th. Visit their Facebook page, BYK Limo, for details and registration information. If you have an event that you would like to post on Big Sky Outdoors, go to our Facebook page or www.bigskyoutdoorsshow.com. Give us all the details of your outdoor event and we'll post it here on Big Sky Outdoors. We're pioneering a brand new frontier. 
I'm 40 years old now, and uh, the 40 year old Grom. Um, but, you know, I was there kind of when kayaking turned that corner and, and became something. Um, I was snowboarding when snowboarding first came about, and I kind of see this as the same thing, you know, like the sky's the limit right now with river surfing. Strongwater Mountain Surf Co. is spearheading this river surfing movement. You know, like people have been doing it for a while, you know, like the Germans and stuff, but uh, not, not like uh, mainstream like us, you know, like we're producing our boards right downstairs. They're made in Montana. Everything's made in Montana, customization, and they're actually surfing. With our particular boards, I mean, I feel like super fortunate. Are my very first you know, real surfboard that I plan on actually using myself. I made that board, in three days after I made that board, I had 10 orders, which is like pretty wild for like, you know, any guy getting started in the surf industry. Our first photo was sent in by Patrick Jones from his trip to Glacier Park last summer. The weather started out a bit discouraging with heavy rain the night before, only to be greeted by a thick fog the next morning. If Patrick's spirits were dampened, they were surely lifted as he drove to the top of Logan Pass, broke out of the fog and beheld this magnificent view. There really is a silver lining in all those storm clouds. Summertime fishing on the Missouri River can get a little crowded sometimes. But last February, Dave Smith got a golden day with the river to himself. He not only battled this beautiful brown, but a snowstorm nearly drove him off the river into the refuge of his truck. Dave stuck it out, and as the snow eased, a crazy midge hatch took off and he got into several nice fish. This next photo features a half-buried yurt at night. Pete Sidera had spent the day with friends earning their turns in the Swan Range with lots of fresh powder. Hiking to the top of Morale Lookout rewarded them with some sweet views of the Mission and Swan Mountains. Later that night, after gourmet meal in the yurt, Pete went out to look at the stars and snapped this gem of a photo. It was a great way to cap off an already killer ski season. Last July, Brad Patterson and a couple of friends climbed Mount Sayee in Glacier National Park. It took them several hours to climb to the top of the 10,000 foot peak. The temperature was cool at that altitude, but not any cooler than this view from the top. They were able to snap this photo of the northeast side of Mount Gould and see all the way down to Cracker Lake, some 4,000 feet below. But the winning photo was sent to us by Rachel Moore. It was taken by her husband while they were hiking the Blodgett Canyon Overlook. Rachel inspired us when she told us that she hiked this steep trail while 28 weeks pregnant. Thanks Rachel for motivating us with this story and amazing photo of the Blodgett Canyon Overlook. And congratulations, you are this week's winner of the Photo of the Week contest. Remember to submit your pictures along with a brief explanation of your latest outdoor adventures on our Facebook page, Big Sky Outdoors, or on our website, BigSkyOutdoorShow.com. The winner this week wins the Optimus Crux Light Solo Cook System from our friends at Montana Army, Navy, and Kalispell and Whitefish. Get it, get out, and live it. And kind of one thing um, that we've accidentally stumbled onto is we found now we're, we're truly surfing snow. The snow melts into the river. We surf the river waves. The rivers flow to the ocean and then we surf the waves there too. So we're literally surfing the whole water cycle and it just kind of happened that way. It wasn't something we were like set out that was like our goal or our mission or anything like that. It just kind of like literally through like our spirit and passion for chasing surf tapped into it all. It's pretty wild. <laughs> I was a child. There is no doubt about it. The river surfing movement is growing and shops like Strongwater will pave the way to ride uncharted and unassuming waters in Montana and around the world. Find the Strongwater shop in Missoula on Higgins or online at strongwatermtnsurf.com. <laughs>